Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar Sarma here and today we are going to look at a question on arithmetic. So kindly pause the video, give it a try and then resume the video. So today's sum basically is based on the concept of time speed distance and it goes like this. A cyclist leaves point A at 10 am and reaches point B at 11 pm. It simply means that the cyclist, if I look at, takes one hour to go from A to B. Then what they are saying is starting from let's say 10 1 or one can say 1 minute past 10 am every minute a motorcycle leaves A and move toward B. What does this mean if I understand the first motorcycle leaves A at 1 minute past 10. The second one is going to leave because I have every motorcycle leaving after 1 minute. It simply means second one leaves the point A you can say at 2 minute past 10 and so on. So what they are saying is 45 such motorcycle reaches B by 11 am. So if I look at the 45th motorcycle, can someone answer that this is going to start from the point A by what time? The first one leaves at 1 minute past 10, second one leaves at 2 minute past 10. So my 45th motorcycle must be starting from the point A at 45 minute past 10. And this motorcycle, the 45th one, reaches the point B by what time? 11 am. So can we answer what time motorcycle takes to go from A to B? Can we say 15 minutes? So every motorcycle takes 15 minutes since the speed of all motorcycle happen to be same. So cyclists take one hour. So every motorcycle take 15 minutes to go from point A to B. So motorcycle. Now what they say right now is, if the cyclist had doubled the speed, so if you double your speed, you can cover the same distance in half the time since speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. So can we say that earlier, the one starting at 10 am will reach the point B by 11 am. But now the same cyclist, since they have doubled their speed, they will now reach the point B by 10.30. So cyclist now reaches by 10.30 at point B. And since we know that your motorcycle take 15 minutes to go from A to B, can we say what is the last motorcycle which is just reaching at 10.30 pm at the point B? It must have started 15 minutes before that time 10.30 pm. So it must be the last motorcycle which is going to start let's say at the point A must be starting at 10.15. And by the same logic since the first motorcycle leave at 1 minute past 10, second one leaves at 2 minutes past 10 and so on, so the 15th motorcycle must have left at 10.15. So my answer for this particular question is going to be nothing but option number 3 here. So now kindly try a similar question and let's say kindly post the answer in the comment section. Okay.